boiler blowdown types and boiler blowdown calculation share your experience with us on the boiler blowdown types and boiler blowdown calculation use the comments section like and subscribe this channel after watching this video what is boiler blowdown boiler blowdown means a certain volume of water is blown off through blowdown valve and is automatically replaced by feed water to maintain the desired level of total dissolved solids tds in the boiler water boiler feed water usually contains a lot of dissolved and undissolved solids which is measured in total dissolved solids tds contents in the boiler these dissolved solids do not evaporate or escape during steam production and supply and settled at the bottom of the boiler shell or mud drum. These TDS causes serious trouble in boiler like increase in scaling, corrosion, carry over localized overheating that may cause boiler tube failure or boiler explosion. Conductivity measurement is used for monitoring the overall TDS present in the boiler. A rise in conductivity indicates a rise in the contamination of the boiler water. Timer controlled automatic bottom blowdown valve. Types of boiler blowdown 1. Intermittent slash periodic blowdown. 2. Continuous blowdown. Let's understand about both kind of blowdowns. 1. Intermittent or periodic blowdown. The intermittent blowdown is given by manually operating a valve fitted to discharge pipe at the lowest point of boiler shell to reduce parameters, IDS or conductivity, pH, silica and phosphates concentration, within prescribed limits so that steam quality is not likely to be affected. In intermittent blowdown, a large diameter line is opened for a short period of time. The time is based on a thumb rule such as once in a shift for two minutes. Also, a substantial amount of heat energy is lost with intermittent blowdown. 16% of blowdown means a total heat loss of 0.42%, making it imperative to maintain blowdown as per the optimum requirement. 2. Continuous blowdown. There is a steady and constant removal of a small stream of concentrated boiler water through continuous blowdown valve usually connected at the water level of the boiler, and replacement by the steady and constant inflow of feed water. This ensures constant TDS and steam purity at the given steam load. Once blowdown valve is set for a given condition, there is no need for the regular operation of the valve. This type of blowdown is common in high pressure boilers and a heat recovery system is also instead to recover the heat of blowdown water. Now let us understand the boiler blowdown calculation formula. The quantity of blowdown in the steam boiler required to control boiler water solids concentration is calculated by using the formula. Blowdown percentage equals feed water TDS multiply by percentage of makeup water divided by maximum permissible TDS in boiler water. If maximum permissible limit in boiler water is 3000 parts per million and percentage of makeup water is 10% and TDS in feed water is 300 parts per million then the percentage blowdown is given as TDS in feed water is 300 parts per million. Multiply by percentage of makeup water is 10. Divided by maximum permissible limit in boiler water is 3000 parts per million. We get blowdown percentage is 1%. For your ready reference this list is showing the maximum permissible TDS limit in boiler water with respect to the boiler type. Lancashire boiler. 10,000. 2 pass economic boiler. 4,500. Packaged and 2 pass economic boiler. 3,000 to 3,500. Low pressure water tube boiler. 2,000 to 3,000. Medium pressure water tube boiler. 1,500. High pressure water tube boiler. 1,000. Coil boiler and steam generators. 2,000. If boiler rating is 5000 kg per hour, then boiler blowdown rate will be 
rating of boiler is 5000 kg per hour, multiply by 1 and divided by 100. So the rate of blowdown is 50 kg per hour. Share your experience with us on the boiler blowdown types and boiler blowdown calculation, use the comments section, like and subscribe this channel and stay connected with us for more informative videos. Your comments helps us to improve the presentation so that new subscribers can learn and get more knowledge. Thank you and good luck.